Yeah. Bass and flow. I got that juice. juice. No AP. She got that juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. The hip hop community continues to mourn the passing of Biz Markey.、Um, and Dave Chappelle, Talib k w a l i and more honored Biz Markey at an after party on Sunday night. It was following the screening of Dave Chappelle's new untitled documentary. And、uh, apparently they were there until 2 30 paying tribute to him, 2 30 in the morning.、Um, yesterday also there was a ceremony celebrating his life that was held in Long Island, New York, where he's from. Fat Joe, LL Cool J, Papoose, Big Daddy Kane, I'll Be Sure, and more were all in attendance. Biz Markey sadly passed away on July 16th due to severe complications from type 2 diabetes. Months prior, he had suffered a stroke after going into a diabetic coma. Biz Markey was just 57 years of age. So sad.、Um, nearly a Nearly half of Prince's estate is now owned by Primary Wave Publishing. You might have heard of them last month, the publishing、uh, and management firm. They quietly bought out 100% interest from his youngest brother, Omar Baker. They had made similar deals prior with his sister, Tyka Nelson, and his late half brother, Alfred Jackson. Now, with these deals, Primary Wave now owns a stake in royalties from Prince's masters, in addition to his earnings as a songwriter. His name and likeness, and along with his Paisley Park property. Now, with a controlling interest of 42%, Primary Wave now becomes the largest single interest holder in Prince's estate. The remaining interest is split between his three oldest siblings out of six in total. Prince's catalog now joins Ray Charles, Whitney Houston, and Bob Marley's catalogs and estates that the firm controls shares of. And his estate will remain in probate and is expected to,、um, it still remains in probate. About, rather, and is expected to come to an end as early as the end of this year.、Um, in just a few weeks, it's going to be 20 years since Aaliyah's plane crash、um, and、uh, you know, her passing away tragically. A new biography is getting ready to drop by Kathy Landoli. It's called Baby Girl, better known as Aaliyah, and chronicles Aaliyah's life, and in it, A new shocking revelation. An alleged witness of her final moments, who's from Abaco, claims that Aaliyah did not want to board the plane. Kingsley Russell, who was just 13 at the time, claims that it was his mom who drove Aaliyah to the airport. She had just finished filming the music video for Rock the Boat, and Aaliyah was reportedly uncomfortable after learning that the plane had exceeded its weight limit. Plus, she was already anxious about flying. So when she arrived and saw how small the aircraft was, it caused her great concern. Kingsley Russell added that to ease her fear, she was allegedly given a sleeping pill by someone in her entourage. And by the time they boarded the flight, Aaliyah had to be carried onto the plane because she had already fallen asleep. And of course, not long after takeoff, the plane crashed near the end of the runway, killing all eight passengers on board as well as the pilot. It was later determined that the plane was overweight by hundreds of pounds and that the pilot was under the influence of alcohol and cocaine and reportedly faked his pilot's license. Such a Sad thing, but、uh, obviously, fans may feel a little bit eased by knowing that she might have been asleep when she died, but still, just absolutely tragic. Baby Girl, better known as Aaliyah, is slated to arrive on August 17th. Look out for that. And that's your juicy entertainment news. And you know, I had to do this. Gotta hit you with some Aaliyah. Rock the boat in memory. Kiss 96. Feel the music.